Hi, this is my new mod for the A8 Plus. I use uh, parts from the A AM8 BLV mod, and they will fit on this model also. As you can see, these are all parts which you need to print, and this part right here. side it's not a lot it's quite fast to make this one but uh, when you assembly uh, all the linear rails uh, on the Z axis and the X axis these these three parts can be a real pain in the ass uh, to align align okay um, the one problem was this thing here was stretching a little bit uh, so to elim eliminate this I use uh, this this part right here and now it's no problem at all um, then we have problems because uh, this piece is uh, a little higher and uh, all uh, hood end assembly is not as low as the or original for the A8 uh, plus you will need to ra raise up a bit a little bit just use uh, longer screws and uh, not uh, so it got no flakes it's, it's fixed stiff no problem with this kind of mounting it's not perfect but okay it's working then on the Y axis I use uh, this uh, 2020 aluminum piece it also stiff no flex and it's only mounted with this plastic thing right here I did not uh, mount uh, this aluminum to the frame because I have wires on the front side and on the back side you can see this is the power wire running inside the uh, chassis to the motherboard uh, overall it's uh, clean design no wires lying around everything is hiding pretty well this chain here is not bad you, so you can hide all cables inside you can see it's quite tight fit but overall it's not bad this is the cube I printed it's quite nice it's not bad you can zoom it a little bit better ok it's not bad uh, so overall it's not cheap I paid for the old rails and uh, uh, MGN bearings uh, around 140 euro on the Banggood so it's almost uh, the new machine you can buy a new machine for this price but okay I'm happy with uh, this mod it's looking nice uh, and that's it if had if you had any problem uh, just ask okay bye